Welcome to Kits in the Game, a brand new series where we'll be taking a look at the shirts of all the great, weird and wonderful football games of the past to see if there are any good. Let's see what FIFA 98 has in store for us. Uh, let's start with a couple of international teams. This is, of course, a game based around the World Cup. Let's pick a good team for 90s kits. We've got a lot of options here. Let's go with, let's go with Sweden. Sweden had a great Adidas kit at this time. And we'll go against one of the big boys. Let's go against France, who won the World Cup, of course, in 98. I mean, look at those stats. Okay, this could be a, a tricky game, a tricky task, but we'll see how we get on. In terms of options for stadiums, I really like the look of the Italy Stadium of San Siro. Let's go there. Let's go there. That looks pretty nice. Keep it nice and short. What else has we got for weather? Let's go random weather, I think. Yeah, let's go random. Let's go for a nighttime game as well. Look at this intro, guys. I love these little video intros. The atmosphere is building. Listen to the crowd. Oh, man. Here we go. And we're all here to see the kits. Well, we'll see the team sheet first. That French team is stacked. That's the equivalent of playing as PSG on the new FIFA. Des Lionel as well on the commentary. Right. We'll talk a lot about the kits as we go on. Looking here, I mean, certainly the French kit and the Sweden kit has some elements of the actual design. That Sweden kit, again, you've got those Adidas stripes, which did go all the way down the shirt. I'll show a picture on screen as well. Oh, good save from the keeper there. Um, and yeah, so on the Sweden kit, th that looks pretty decent. You, you can definitely tell it's the design. It's not um, just some random stripes. They kind of curve in from the side, if you can see there. The France kit as well had uh, a unique design, a bespoke design, I believe, uh, from Adidas, with a series of stripes coming in. Oh my, okay, that should have been a foul. But yeah, you can see there's sort of two straps on either side there. But that's pretty good. I'm quite impressed, to be honest, with with the kits. You know, you can see again the designs that the teams had at the time. Also, I'm not sure if the ref's ever going to penalise a slide tackle here. I've had a few which have been a bit dodgy. Here we go, Sweden on the attack. Darling cuts inside, and he scores. And there we go, a lovely little close-up of the Sweden kit. I honestly love that, guys. I think it looks really good. We should talk about the goalkeeper kits as well, of course. Now, this is interesting to me. On first impression, the kits remind me very much of an Umbro design, an Umbro template which many teams used. I seem to remember a couple of the, the English teams used it. And I think both the Sweden and French goalkeepers are using what to me looks like a version of that template. I might be completely wrong. 2-0 as Larson scores his first of the game. Wow, I don't think the ref is awake here. I'm slight tackling pretty much everything. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be a foul. Oh, there's a foul. Okay. Maybe he's on the Swedish payroll. Let's see if we can score again. The three. Oh, top corner. Look at the celebration. Look at that. I I really I'm really loving this. Again, it's funny how both on Sweden and French kits you've got sort of two stripes instead of the three. That was uh Oh oh wow. Wow. Okay, moving on swiftly. Let's go for a club match now. I want to do a club game there. I want to see how club kits have been handled. So let's go let's go with Arsenal, let's go with the big team. And let's go for a kind of European fixture. Um who have we got? If we go to Spain, maybe. Let's go to Barcelona. And you know what, guys? I've just remembered one of the best things about this game, if I can find it. The indoor stadium. Let's go. If I remember correctly, this is like a five-a-side mode. And as we kick off, you can see already that Barcelona have got uh, their lovely teal kit. And this was, of course, based on... The famous shirt which Ronaldo wore as well when he was at Barcelona. I believe it was the 95-97 away. Um, it's fair to say that the kit... Oh, as Ian right nearly scores, he does score. Yikes. Oh, there we go. Good look at the kit. Um, yeah, it's fair to say they've not really captured the pattern. But to be fair to the developers, it was a pretty crazy design. Of course, it's also notable for the Arsenal shirt that we don't have a sponsor. 
understandable. Um, but what's quite funny is that the JVC logo, I'm pretty sure that was on some of the billboards at the San Siro in the last game. Um, but it's not on the shirt. So it's quite funny that they were part of the game, but not on the shirt. But anyway, uh, also notable is the keeper kits are different. So it's good to see another template. That does look vaguely like an Adidas goalkeeper shirt, which makes you wonder why they didn't have that in the uh, in the main match. Uh, but either way, it's fair to say these kits aren't exciting me nearly as much as... Oh, lovely goal. Okay, game on at the indoor five-a-side match between Arsenal and Barca. Um, yeah, it's fair to say that these kits aren't nearly as kind of exciting or as identifiable as the uh, Sweden franchise. Oh, Luis Enrique. Okay. Okay. No need to panic. We got this. As Nadal weaves through and scores again. And it might sound silly, but at least with the Arsenal kit, you've got clear, distinct white sleeves. You've got Oh, another goal. I think I found a way that we could score pretty much every time. I love that the ball can bounce off the wall in this. Oh, okay. Ian Wright is keeping this game. Keeping this game honest. Keeping us honest. We've got ourselves a game here, guys, as we've been playing here. I'm struggling to cope with Ian Wright, who scored a hat-trick in the first half. <laughs> Defence and keeper all over the shot. Luis Enrique. Oh! Dugarry with his hat trick. This game is all over the place. 5 4 now. Oh man. It's fair to say I do not know how to defend in this. So it's going to be a nervy last 20 minutes. Oh no, Arsenal on the counter attack. Huge slide. And Dugarry's up front again. And he's... Guys, someone needs to mark him. Someone needs to mark him four goals. I feel like there's something... Maybe it's the formation. Or just the difficulty level being too low. <laughs> he's done that four times now. Let's go. Oh, it's 6-5. This is a hilarious game. From halfway. Oh, he's hit the bar. And Dugarry gets his fifth goal so there we go <laughs> entertaining fixture before we finish let's go into another amazing feature of this game that is the ability to edit kits if we go to team edit you'll see here you can go in and change uh, the colors of the kit uh, and the various elements and even change the pattern, and look at this, you can see, I think that was the one we had for Barcelona there, on the Barca away. Um, but this is pretty good. As we circle through as well, I'm pretty sure that looks like the Chile design. It really looks like the Reebok Chile pattern. In fact, if we go to Chile, I think they're on here. Look at that, look at the Chile kit, that's awesome. I think, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the Reebok logo pattern actually came from the other side of the shirts. They flipped it, which makes sense. I also wish this guy would stop uh, running around so quickly so we could actually get a good look at the kit. But that's so cool that you can see, uh, again, clearly the chilly pattern on the kit. It looks great. It's so fun to be able to go in. And, you know, maybe maybe it's as simple as, OK, I want to change the Columbia shirt, give them a slightly more gold kit, um, or even go crazy. There's actually a decent number of options. There we go. There's the Sweden template. As I've been scrolling through looking at some of the teams, I came across PSV. PSV had some great 90s kits, but this made me laugh. The home, there we go. It's a, it's a broad representation. The away is a major kit clash. I believe the away was actually black, if I'm not mistaken. So it would actually look a bit more like this. That would be a much closer version. But again, you can go in the editor and you can sort this stuff out. You can say, okay, there we go. That's the away shirt. If you're someone like me, you might look at someone like Peru here. And even if Peru had a plain white shirt, I don't know if they did. That is not good enough. We need the sash. And you can go through, you can find the sash option. And I'm going to do that even now as we speak. Because it just seems criminal to have a Peru kit without the sash. Look at the options. You've got checks there. It's so good, guys. And there we go. Balance is restored. All is right with the world.
And that is episode one of Kits in the Game. I hope you've had fun. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. Other games are going to have a lot to live up to. Please let me know in the comments what game I should cover next. Pick a game. Let me know what your favourite football game was, which game you'd like to see. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I will see you very soon for another video. Take care.